And thanks for being with us this afternoon. I'm Tim Seaman. Fallout continues surrounding Wednesday's historic impeachment vote in the U.S. House of Representatives. That vote, of course, does not mean that President Trump will be removed from office, something that only the Senate can decide. And that trial is now being delayed by Democrats drawing criticism from across the aisle. KCA Unite's Washington correspondent, Alexandra Lamone, reports in our top story at 5. Article 1 is adopted. While the House of Representatives voted to impeach President Trump, it's unclear when those articles of impeachment will be delivered to the U.S. Senate, and the delay is drawing criticism from Republican leaders. The impeachment was so urgent that it could not even wait for due process, but now they're content to sit on their hands. Now we have the own Speaker of the House who is so embarrassed that she admits the failure of this impeachment that she will not even send it to the Senate. Frankly, I don't care what the Republicans say. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she's waiting to decide which members of the House will present the case in the Senate trial. But Oregon Congressman Earl Blumenauer says holding the articles of impeachment is also strategic. An opportunity to try and get a fair process. McConnell's already working hand in glove with the White House and there's no agreement on critical witnesses. The timing also matters because once the articles of impeachment are delivered, the Constitution requires that a Senate trial begin the next day. South Dakota Senator Mike Rounds says the burden of proof is still on House Democrats. To actually convince the Senate that there is a need for removal from office. The Republican majority in the Senate will also decide the trial process and could call additional witnesses or request more documents before taking their own vote on whether to remove President Trump from office. In Washington, Alexandra Limon, KCAU 9 News. And the White House is weighing in on the historic vote today as senior advisors say it's business as usual at the White House. I don't feel like I'm being impeached because uh, it's a hoax. He feels strong, he feels very positive, and he's optimistic for the country. And we wanted to hear what your opinion is, so we put a poll at KCA United News in our Facebook page asking, do you support the impeachment of President Trump? As of 4.30 this afternoon, 74% of those who answered said they do not support impeachment, 26% saying yes. More than 2,000 people have voted in our poll so far.